Hey what's up guys how's it going this is Johan and you guys are welcome to my channel so first of all i am terribly sorry for the audio quality and the background because i am not in my place by the way uh, so in this quick video i will teach you how you can install basically any operating system on your chromebook but before moving forward uh, you need to confirm some things uh, before actually follow the tutorial things that you should know before watching the tutorial first of all verify or find the exact model of your chromebook from the given link in the description by the way there is a website you have to find your exact model number on the website if it is uh, capable or not to install any other OS uh, if you don't find the exact model number stop the tutorial right now and do something else why am i telling you this because uh, some of the school chromebooks that given by some school or college that doesn't work they are physically and uh, mentally i guess uh, software related issues that you cannot install any os other than chromebook that's the rules or they don't allow it to but some chromebooks allow it so you need to find the exact model number please do it first and secondly it will void your warranty because we will unlock some things that chromebooks or the manufacturer don't want us to do so it will 100% void your warranty so be aware of that and not only the process is all about uh, software related like uh, how to root your phone or something no, uh, you have to go to physical level you have to do some changes physically on your device so if you can do it then go ahead and follow my tutorial by the way if you do some mistakes uh, it can totally break your device uh, so be aware of that and if any of these is not an issue for you let's go ahead and sorry for the display the display is broken or something they are uh, there is some problem with the display also <laughs> i'm sorry for the terrible quality lighting and the position because i don't have any kind of tripod or something i'm working in my home anyway so basically what you have to do is first of all you need to turn on the developer mode for that you need to press some key combination uh, here i have problem with the display also some problem with the keyboard so i may take a few times to <laughs> try to unlock the developer mode all you have to do is uh, press the escape button the reload button and with the same combination with the power button okay the power button here i have power button in here uh, if you have any other kind of chromebook that might the power button might be anywhere else so anyway here i'm trying to turn on the developer mode yeah here escape reload and power button first attempt no if the screen comes in uh, the chrome logo then do it again escape power and escape reload and power button try different type of key combination like escape and reload then power or press them at once three button at once no escape power no i need i might need to press some this uh, you don't need to do that because there is a problem with that button particular button that's why i have done that let's see what happens please come on escape <coughs> it might have worked. yes you don't need to <laughs> bash the computer by the way yeah when you see this menu Chrome OS is damaged or missing, please insert recovery stick or SD card. You need to press Ctrl and D. So I am typing Ctrl D. Here it will ask you to uh, turn on the OS verification of press enter. Okay, so I am going to press enter. And it will come back to the again this menu. OS verification is off. Here you have to type Ctrl D again. Ctrl D. Remember it as like it's a shortcut for desktop. Your system is transferred to developer mode. Local data has been cleared. By the way, it will clear all of your every single thing on your computer. In a sense, it is a hard reset or factory reset you can say. Plus, you are turning on the developer mode. So here it will take some time. Here it is saying. Uh, okay, so depending on your hardware configuration, it might take. Uh, 5 to 10 minutes here I am waiting for almost 10 minutes I guess ok it has debuted uh, wherever see this screen just press ctrl plus t ctrl 
D and it will go back to Chrome OS. Moros and Chromebooks are write protected by physically or if you have a an school Chromebook or something like that I will put a link in the description you should see whether your device is already there or not if your device is there then you should do it check the link in the description first because that will tell whether your model is available or not to install any OS or anything basically unlock your computer so what you have to do is turn off your computer or Chromebook I should say then here I am using the 2015 Google Pixel Chromebook you have to open your back chassis I guess then it is behind the rubber sticky rubber pad I have opened it already that's why you, you will see it is something broken uh, you should see then you have to open the chassis uh, different models have different uh, kind of uh, location to unlock your hardware so basically what you have to do is open the chassis and find your for your particular model google it where is your right protected pin or not i should say you have to remove the back cover you have to open the screw with a screwdriver or something and then you can close it just google it you will find more about it different models have different position uh, for this model i have googled it and i have had some a photo i will put it in somewhere in the screen and i removed it and then i attached it so anyway here i have come to again i have opened it Con control plus d where i will see this monitor now your computer is totally restored your machine i should say is totally restored so uh, you need to connect to uh, internet Okay, so when you see this screen, you need to connect to the internet and it will take some time. When you see this screen, just you can log in as you normally would, but as we don't need to log in, we are gonna restore it anyway. So I am just going to browse as guest. And when you see the Chrome, just type here Mr. Chromebox MR. C H R O M E B O X and just Google it. You'll find a, a website, uh, Mr. Chromebox.tech. Basically, what I'm doing, I'm wiping and installing a new firmware on this computer. The boot menu doesn't allow me to install any OS otherwise, so I'm changing my boot menu basically. So here after coming on this particular website it is mrchromebox.tech chromebox mr chromebox.tech so here after you need to go to firmware and utility script just go there and scroll down here are some instructions and basically i am installing their their version of boot menu so just type control alt t it will take you to terminal i guess as it's a linux based computer here you you have to type shell s h e w l and after seeing this my display is a uh, little bit weird <laughs> so after typing shell go to the other chrome tab so you need to copy the whole command and clicking here third time so it selects all everything every one of these control c to copy it Go to the other menu and here press Ctrl Shift V. Ctrl V won't work and press enter. And it will take some time. Obviously, you need to connect to the internet or otherwise it won't work. Here it is downloading the script from the internet. Just wait for a while. 8 or 10 megabytes, I guess. The script. So after that, you will see this menu. I hope you can see a little short it. So you can see here this menu here it says uh, it's your model number what is your uh, platform or every details after that you need to install or update uefi full rom firmware the second option so here i am typing here it says select option here i am typing 2 keyword on 2 and pressing enter it says uh, i am one okay so it says flashing your firmware has been potential there are some fair warnings so i am not concerned about that so i am pressing y money i mean yes and press enter 
Yeah, it says after flashing UEFI mode, it, it says uh, another warning. I guess press Y or any key to continue. Press Y um, on the capital letter. You should do whatever it says. It says uh, create a backup copy of your stock ROM. The ROM you have already in your device. It says uh, if you want. You can back up this ROM. So what you have to do is basically uh, install a uh, USB drive or memory card, whatever you have. Insert it to the computer and press yes. And it will ask again, press yes, and it will copy and or back up the file. As I have already done it, so I'm not gonna back up, back it up. So I am pressing N and pressing enter. Now here it says downloading full ROM firmware. It will take some time, and just wait. By the way, I am reminding you again that you have to connect to the internet first, otherwise it won't work, any of these. And on the other hand, you can boot your windows or uh, linux, whatever you want, the OS. So, you can do it also. If you don't know how to make a bootable USB drive, please let me in the comment below or just google or youtube it, you will find eventually some of the tutorials and uh, blogs that you can follow. Depend on your internet connection, internet connection is matter here, it can be take uh, 5 to 10 minutes again, so sit back and relax, you will get here. Here it says the first boot uh, I have uh, entered full ROM firmware successfully installed or updated in the green screen. I hope you can see. The first boot after uh, flashing may take substantially longer time. Also, whatever it is warning that it can be taken uh, 30 seconds or more to boot the first time. So uh, ignore it and please enter to go back to main menu. Here you have done everything. Now you have to restart your computer. As you have in terminal, here it says select a option or anything R to reboot P to power up and Q to quit you have to type R as I want to reboot to the computer R for reboot capital R and press enter and as the computer just restarts the machine I should say or computer whatever depend on your hardware and con configuration it might take some time so now as you see the logo the rabbit you just unlock the boot menu here what you have to do is just normally i have already burned a usb uh, for windows 10 and i am gonna install the windows 10 first so i am putting the usb and as i have i was talking to the camera it has gone to the other menu i am just pressing control escape and I can if you want uh, do is mistaken just type exit I am just typing exit here I just pressed escape button and I, I have seen some weird <laughs> text by the way I am not good at Linux or something terminal so I am just pressing E X I T press enter here you have come to the boot menu it says your RAM your model number your processor and there is a boot menu now you have to go to boot menu I have inserted an USB already you can see there will be terrible funding condition anyway so i'm going to the boot menu and pressing enter usb usb flash drive i am choosing usb flash drive and pressing enter my usb is flashing it's working and it might take some time just wait and relax the windows boot menu boot logo here you got the regular windows installation window so now you have to just install it as like any other device i'm pressing next by the way the keyboard and the mouse won't work here i guess yes it is not working nothing working so you need to attach an optical device optical mouse or keyboard whatever you prefer i have one here and i'm just going to and it's, it is regular installation just install you need to have at least 16 or 32 gigs of your storage if you don't have that please upgrade it before or otherwise uh, it might not work here in this particular device i have 64 gigs of uh, storage custom here you, you could see a thousands of hard drive okay so you just need to delete everything every single partition you don't need anything
After deleting everything, you will see a single drive which says drive 0 unlocated space and 59.6 gigs empty. So after clicking that, you can create new, new here. I hope you can see, you can create new here or I what I do I just click to the unlocated space the single drive and press next and it will create uh, every single drive it need default drive I guess because I'm installing I have only one single drive and it's the basically it's the common procedure you can install any OS in this method whether you want to install Linux or Windows or uh, is there any other way yes there is but i don't know all the name okay so after installing the whole windows the whole process you should understand what is it actually so just wait for a few minutes or seconds it will automatically install the graphics driver it should i guess here i have a, there is installed already the graphics uh, driver Intel graphics automatically it is a default features of windows and after that just go to i'll put the link in the description or you can google it just by install windows driver for chromebook or something like that you will get some websites here i i, I will put some of the websites and here i have got one that coolstart.org c o l s t a dot org just go there you should know what is your model number just here i am using for the google device google what is the processor if you want to know just go to start menu and type s y s here you will get system information just go there and you should see your model number here it is here i am using intel core i7 double five o u cpu this one so i should select the that particular one in here intel core i7 that one yeah. just next and this is the google pixel 2 chromebook so press next here you will get everything what i'm telling you that just download the touchpad driver the link uh, install touch screen driver if you have a touch screen uh, of course this is the this is a touch screen display the touch screen doesn't work at all you have to download it touchpad driver touch screen driver and the keyboard remapper driver you can also download intel rapid store technology although it should install automatically anyway download all this and install it it should work like a charm for example uh, my touchpad isn't working at all this is the cursor my touchpad isn't working download the touchpad driver <laughs> it has downloaded so now I am just going to install it it should work the touchpad yes it is it is so install download all the drivers and install it and you should good to go okay so that is how you can install basically any operating system on your chromebook uh, if you find this video helpful please leave a thumbs up and comment down if i have explained it properly to you or not and by the way <laughs> i'm terrible at english so i'm extremely sorry so that's it guys hope this video works for you if you find it helpful please give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and write a comment below this is john and i will catch you in the next one peace